Hello everyone, FunshineX here, and I want to welcome you to my 100 subscriber special! Woohoo! Fanfare! Ta-da! Yay! And as part of the 100 subscriber special, I want to introduce you guys to the ComputerCraft Arcade. Yes, that's what I said, ComputerCraft Arcade, and only has one game in it and a couple sheep. Uh, but this is going to be an awesome game, I'm going to build this out, there's going to be a bunch of fun games. I'll see you what I can do, um, besides just normal arcade games, but I want to show you this one right away. Okay, so first what we have is our coin slot, and uh, that's going to need some ender pearls. Are our coins for this game. Let me find them. I think I... There we go. And uh, if I go ahead and throw them in here, you can see the gooey here. Oh, missed. All right, I can't remember how many coins it takes, but if we put in too many, they should come out one of these slots. Yeah, I think we put in too many. That's all right. Okay, so now we've got the coins in, so we can go and come up here. You see, I, I only got a score of five last time. So uh, this is our entry block. Um, this sh I've got to fix an issue here. This should have came down once we put enough coins in, but nothing's perfect quite so far. I need to fix a couple more things. This is our controller, uh, a little nice little joystick here, but we can move it to the left or to the right to control our game, and this will be our start button. So I'm going to go ahead and press this guy. It's going to restart the computer. It just takes a couple seconds to start up, and while it does, I want to uh, let you guys know that this uh, is part of being my loyal subscribers. You guys will access to the world download as well as the code for this game, and so I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get it started up. This is the game Breakout. Let's get it going. Come on, computer, you can do it. I put an arbitrary long timer in here just so I could talk, but then I determined I don't need to talk for very long. Here we go. 100 subscribers. And we can move the joystick, and this is all controlled by your body, so it's almost like a Kinect controller. As you move your body with the joystick, it moves it left and right. Oh no, I don't think we're going to make it. Oh, we missed. It's all right. We got seven points. We've already got the high score, right? It's not the easiest to control. Oh man, because of uh, the way I'm using pistons here to <laughs> detect, sometimes they stay on a little bit longer than you would expect. All right, we got some nice chain going here, where I'm not having to touch the ball. It's just going. Keep going. Seventeen points. Move a little right, not too much. Alright, get all those. Nice, go up top. Oh, almost. Yeah, oh, we're gonna make it. Yep, we're good, we're good, we're good. Not too far, not too far. Alright, we're doing pretty well. 22 points. This is our last life, though, so we cannot die. Move over. The uh, the paddle moves a little bit faster than the ball, so you do have a chance to get to it if you're not exactly lined up with it. You can catch up to it. Before I had it move exact same velocity of the ball, and it was just impossible because if you got behind, then you're in, in big trouble. Ooh, we get inside there. That's nice. Um, as far as how long it took to create this, the, the arcade machine itself probably took a couple hours, uh, maybe two or three hours. I'll show you the innards in a little bit as soon as I win the game here, if I can win the game. And uh, the program took probably four or five hours. And that was only because, oh man, we lost. You lose. 33 points. Not bad. Okay, so let's go and show you the arcade. Back behind here, we've got the monitor. And it's uh, just running here. It's connected, er, the, the terminal, sorry. It's connected to the monitor from the back. So you can see this texture pack makes it really cool. It looks like iron blocks, but it is a monitor. Uh, bundled cable up here, this is just for uh, debugging the kind of the controller. So as you move left and right, blue, yellow, and the reset button I think does pink. The coins do purple or magenta. We've got a disk where the program code is written, and then it comes down on 
in there into the thing. Let's go down there. I've got a solar array. I don't really don't need it anymore because I've got batteries, so that'll probably be removed from the world download before I give it to you guys. Up here, you can see that the yellow and the cyan are connected to the pressure plates via redstone signals, so whenever those go off, the yellow or cyan will go off. Uh, that's the piston that opens the entry gate there, and that's on a green signal, so that I can control with the computer whether that goes up and down. Here I've got the coins, so you put the ender pearl in here, and uh, I've got restriction tubes right under that, so uh, if it's uh, the item detector... This is the, the sorting machine, right? Or a regulator. Yeah, these cool new regulators. Awesome. Uh, this is basically on the left side is what the regulator can accept, and it takes two enderpearls. So this costs two enderpearls to start the game. Anything else, this will not be a valid entry for. So it'll go down the restriction tube path. Um, and then, fortunately, it can cross over and actually go into the other one for some reason. But uh, that's all right. And if it is two under pearls, you put them in, then it'll come in here. The item detector here will count the two under pearls and send that on the uh, pink signal. Okay, and this is the one that goes up to the computer. So really, there's not a lot. Uh, down here is just a bunch of batteries. Uh, ender chest stores all my ender pearls, so I can actually lock this thing up and then have a secret code here, maybe like green, cyan, pink. And then in my base, I could have the same ender chest and collect all the coins from people playing my games. And uh, I think that's it for the middle, the inside here. So let's go up here. And you can see the controller. This red thing is just made of uh, half slabs or whatever, so there's nothing much there. This one is uh, connected to the pink line. So when you reset it, uh, it'll get a pink signal, and I've got an uh, event in the uh, code that's waiting for a redstone event on the pink line. And if it does get one of those, then it reboots the computer, just like that. Maybe if I can aim on it. There we go. So it's rebooting, and I put a 30-second timer in there. Oh, it did kind of flush the piston. I think the piston's just got like a, an issue with the coins, but... Yep, it's doing that, and that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you guys liked this. It's a nice short episode. Again, I'm going to clean up the code, fish out any bugs, and I'll put this up for download. So if it's not up already, uh, come back in a day. I just uh, was surprised I got over the 100 subscriber mark so quickly. Uh, you guys have been filing on the last couple days, so I'm excited. That means I'll make a lot more videos for you guys, and uh, computer graph tutorials, and my Let's Play and uh, flesh out this Arcada. If you guys have ideas for games that you think would be cool in computer craft that would work really well with this kind of a joystick, let me know, and uh, I'll see if I can go about making them for you. Um, I want to see if I can make like a pinball game too. I'm not sure. You know, it's like, because you can do flippers pretty easy, but I don't want to do it on a monitor screen. I want to do it more like, I don't know, like a, I don't know, this game doesn't have a lot of physics. It would probably have to be like sand or something, but how could you hit it with a paddle? <laughs> really not sure. It's something I would like to do, but I don't know if the game physics would support that. And so I could do it on a monitor like this, but that's just a bunch of programming. Um, that's, you know, kind of an idea. I want to do more more arcade games like this. And uh, maybe one where you have to jump. I could put a pressure plate up in the air. So you have to jump. Um, I guess I could do like car racing games. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I guess I got 22 points. I've beat the game once. I think I've played it about five times since I completed it, uh, all the coding, and I've only beat it once. So it is pretty difficult, mostly because it's a pressure plate, so it's hard to control when you're actually stepping on it. This, um, I used a three-fourth slab just to kind of give you a visual cue as you walk to know when you're on the pressure plate and when you're not because uh, it's easy to hit right and then hit left and all of a sudden you're on the other one. So now you can kind of tell when you're in the middle based on if it goes down or up. So that's why that's there. And that's it. That's the Computer Craft Arcade, uh, the first game. Hope you guys liked it. Please keep subscribing, sharing, liking my videos. I really appreciate it. I'm having a lot of fun with the uh, Computer Craft and all the 1.2.5 mods. And this has been Fun Shinax. I will see you guys later. Bye.